Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm a bit angry with you guys and I'll tell you why. You don't need to like Daddy Freeze. You don't need to like Daddy Freeze. But you can't run away from Daddy Freeze's message. You can't run away from my message. Uh, no matter how much you guys have run away from my message, a lot of people believe that, oh, Daddy Free is attacking pastors because pastors are collecting money. Well, pastors collecting money is only a part of the problem. Pastors collecting money is only part of the problem. The real problem is the effect of religion on the way you think. In 2024 you are still thinking that Moses crossed the Red Sea out of Egypt and you are waiting for those miracles. Let me tell you why I'm angry this evening. May the soul of Junior Pope, may his innocent and gentle soul rest in perfect peace. But that boy did not need to buy. That boy did not need to buy if this happened in ordinary south africa if this happened in dubai if this happened in the uk if this happened in europe if this happened in the us or canada that young man would be alive today i saw a heart-wrenching video person drown Person where we are supposed to lie down for floor, we are sit them up, they fan them. Ah! Ah! Someone, do you realize that knowledge of CPR? This boy, will be, this young man, will be working with us today. He might be in the. He might be in a critical stage. He might be in the hospital. But he will be walking among us. I saw, I, I, I forwarded this video to some of my followers. I think it was Samaria, I was among them, yes. Mary UN was among them. If you are my follower and you have not seen that video, send me a DM. Send me a DM. You need to watch this video. So you need to understand where Daddy Freeze is coming from. People were busy doing two unimportant things. Praying and taking pictures. Praying and taking pictures. None of them are of any use. Okay, you have broken the news. We have seen the body. Okay. Okay. Right now, there is a battle going on. Listen to the battle going on right now in Nigeria. That's why I said, you, you see, you are comparing pastors that charge you to brainwash you into religion. If I charge you money to teach you the gospel, just know that the gospel I'm teaching you is 100% accurate. I will never teach you a gospel of putting prayer before sense. I will never teach you a gospel of looking for spirituality in situations that have logic. I will never... I will never charge you for the gospel. I've never charged for the gospel. But even if I charge you for the gospel, I will charge you to teach you what is really written in that Bible. Not what I want it to write so that I can make money off you praying for you. All the prayer houses. How far? All the prayer houses. How far? Let me show you how Nigerians dropped the ball. Let me show you how Nigerians drop the ball. First of all, this video. Look at somebody 
they are finding somebody they sat him up upright somebody that is buying from drowning they sat him up and were fanning him ah Eshele. this boy had no you, you see you see just like mobad another youth has gone this boy does not as in, i understand i understand when somebody has been battling with cancer like Prince Charles, as Prince Charles did. They don't tell you, say, now two more years in get King Charles. Now two more years King Charles get, so they don't they prepare in funeral down. It's understandable. Someone that recorded himself on a boat this morning, saying, ah, the driver is speeding too much. Hey, hey, hey. He's no longer amongst us because of our carelessness. Yes, we can blame the driver for driving recklessly, Yes, we can blame the fact that he did not have a, 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 a uh, life vest on. But at what stage are we going to blame the mentality of the people? Which is the... Because let me tell you, he did not have a vest. He would have been alive today. We will criticize and say, why are you to enter boats? No wear vest. His problem started from his rescue. His problem started from his rescue. Somebody came to me and said, Daddy Freeze, you are chasing clout with this. If it is clout I am chasing, it might be your child, your wife, your mother, your father who might be next. And if they are drowning and they sit them up and fan them, they will go. Someone said, how do you know King Charles has two years to live? Google it. Google it. That's what the doctor said. Or was that the rumors we are hearing from the UK? From one religion to the other, we're running from prayer to shrine. Please, which of them worked? Which of them worked? I've said it. You don't, you don't need to like that he frees. Curse me from morning till night, but don't, don't let my message miss you. Because if you miss my message, forget the messenger. Don't you dare ignore the message. We are where we are today because you have been ignoring my message for too long. For too long. Everything is spiritual. As in, this guy would have lived. He might be in critical condition. But you'll be alive. Now the riverine people say they must bury him in the river. The family say they will not bury him in the river. Somebody say, must I talk? Oh yes, I must talk. So that your family can be saved. That is where we are now in 2024. Listen to the dilemma that is going on now. I sent it to my wife. Okay. Happening right now, as reported by Remedy Blog. Some people in the community are insisting that they must bury him in the river because they believe it's necessary for his children and the community's well-being or else there will be serious spiritual consequences and heavy repercussions. Number two. His family doesn't agree and won't give up his body. The community went to the hospital to get his body, but the doctor in charge refused and locked his body in a private room and locked the door. Some other groups of people are saying the family should take the body to a specific shrine before 2 a.m., where a certain herbalist in charge of the river would supposedly bring him back to life. Emeka Rolas and some other Nollywood actors are there currently, pushing for the body to be taken to the shrine. That is where we are now. That is where we are now. In 2024, this is what is happening now. And you are telling Daddy Freeze to shut up. Daddy Freeze, shut up. Daddy Freeze, shut up. Daddy Freeze, shut up. If they say take him to the shrine, I will say let them take him to the shrine. Why? Because I would rather 
our indigenous beliefs be appeased, even if they will not work, than for us to continue the false belief in imported faiths that we imported substandardly. Well, it is gone. Whatever it is they want to do now, let them do so that the community will be at rest. What they needed to do, what they needed to do, they failed. They dropped the ball. As they were bringing him off the boat, as they were bringing him out of the water, CPR, boom, 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 boom. As the woman taught us, 30, blow, 2, boom, 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 30. After that, rush him to the hospital. As soon as they brought him out of the water, they took him straight to the mortuary. Without confirming, say, he don't buy. Nigeria, Nigeria. I feel like crying. I've never cried before in life. I've never. Nothing has ever brought tears. I'm, I'm hard. My heart is hard. If you like, throw me from now till next week. My heart is hard, but this, I, I feel like crying. Now, I hold myself to so make I not cry. I feel like crying, Nigeria. How did we, which roundabout did we, which Google Maps did we follow that said turn at the junction we turned that we arrived here? How did we get here? How did we arrive here? How did we get here? What junction did we turn that we were not supposed to turn that brought us here? I'm asking us. This is the second young man that we are losing in one year. And they say they're not shipping for us. <sighs> Your pastors hate me. And one of the reasons why so many people came after me is not even because I did anything wrong. It's simply because I dared to challenge your pastors. I am crying. Like Muriel in Animal Farm. Showing you the writing on the card that they are taking Boxer to the horse slaughter. But because y'all can't read, just the way they were telling Muriel to shut up is the same way they are telling me to shut up. Somebody said he has three children to raise. Don't worry about his children. Nigerians are kind-hearted. They will contribute to raise his children. His children will not suffer. My problem is he did not need to go. He did not need to leave. Why is he not walking on earth? Why is he not coughing this night? Why is he not crying this night? Because we dropped the ball. We dropped the ball. That is why Junior Pope is no longer with us. Ah! Nothing has ever brought me this close to tears. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm made of steel. No mommy will say, bring it on. But I'm broken. How old is he? How old is this guy? How old is this guy? How old is this guy? He was not sick. He was not sick. I am almost 
almost 10 years older than this guy. He was not sick. Koron Lakba Koron, let's say, he was not handicapped. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 this guy, nothing need to do this guy, nothing need to do this guy, nothing need to do him. All the prayer houses, what God cannot do does not exist. God can do the impossible. There's nothing more powerful. Everything is powerful to God. God, where are we today with it? Where did this lead us to? Junior Pope, you did not need to go. You did not need to go. At least we understand Mubad. He was surrounded by the wrong set of people. He had a troubled life. Junior Pope had a beautiful family. A beautiful career. A gentleman to the core. A lover to his wife. A father to his children. Why? Why? Someone said, focus on your focus and don't talk about church. Let me tell you, church is one of our biggest problems in this country. You know how to pray. Everybody around that water, when they brought him out, knew how to pray. How many people knew how to do CPR? Your parents taught you how to pray. They taught you how to speak in tongues. They taught you how to fast. But you don't know how to do CPR. And you are telling me I should not talk about church? Your parents put religion first. They poured it into your head from when you were a baby. How many of you, there are 1,300 people watching me on, uh, on Instagram. There are 1,600 people watching me on Facebook. Out of one, I can tell you, there are not up to 20 people that know how to do CPR. But all of you know how to speak in tongues. It's a shame. It's a shame. Somebody, as in, let, let's talk. They brought him out of the water. Instead of doing CPR, they sat him on the ground. And they were fanning him. Ah, ah, as in that one, eh? See, say I know burst into tears. Now, like this, he remained. As in, they, they fan person where they die. They, they fan now. Ah. Ah, ah, they they fan person way they suppose life for ground pressing chest they they fan um ah <sighs> they they fan um they they fan um. They come fan and finish. They no carry and go hospital. They carry and go mortuary. Oh God, God, God! I try to teach you people logic, logical thinking. Can we can we put all our religions to one side? Maybe even this for two weeks and start thinking of logic. In times of crisis, you will see houses burning. They are calling holy spirits. When houses, when bigger houses are brought born, is the Holy Spirit they call? Israel is fighting uh, uh, Palestine. They are using the latest technology. You, you are praying for the God of Israel to protect you. Which day are we going to start thinking? After sitting him up and fanning him, they now take him to the mortuary. Let me tell you, if all of you, all of you, there are over 3,000 people watching me this night. 760 on TikTok. 700 on YouTube. 1,300 on Instagram. 
that is already like two six the 1600 on facebook all of you one thing i need you all to learn for me we are, we are talking about five thousand people watching me now learn how to check your pulse learn how to check just google how to all of you before you sleep this night don't 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 procrastinate before you sleep this night learn how to check your pulse learn somebody said what is with this man uh, pastors churches are not schools unagri go school how many of Unago school? I am blaming our parents and our religions because they put spirituality in the place of logic. Every single person listening to the sound of my voice today, put your, learn, just go to Google, check it out. You must do it before you promise me that you will learn how to check your pulse this night. That is how to tell if somebody is still alive, if they have a pulse. Start with learning how to feel your own pulse. I can feel my own as I'm talking to you now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Learn how to feel your pulse. All of you. That is how to tell the first step. This is how to tell if somebody is alive or if somebody is no longer alive. This is how all of you must learn it this night. I will not go to bed until you have learned how to check your pulse. Because if you knew how to check your pulse, they will take him straight to the hospital, not the mortuary. According to the reports we are getting. All of you now, don't type God, I bear, oh, why? Wow. Instead of crying, let's learn. Go, or if you have two phones, use the second phone to start checking. Start feeling your hand. You see a, a vein here. Just place your, your hand firmly on it. You will feel little bits. Boop, 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 boop. That is your pulse. All of you today, 5,000. If, I've, if I've, someone said they've just checked, God bless you. Now check somebody else's. If you are living at home with your wife, if your children are sleeping, just you can live the life for 30 seconds. Go pick up the hand. If you not get wife, now house girl, you get wake the house. They say, I want to check your pulse. You must not go to bed tonight without being able to read somebody's pulse. Just count for one minute. You can tell how many heartbeats they have in one minute. That's your pulse rate. You set your watch like this and you start timing one minute. You look at your watch, you start timing. When it gets to 12, you start counting. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. As it goes round, you now can tell the pulse rate. So two things you are going to learn how to tell. You are going to learn how to check your pulse and you are going to learn how to check your pulse rate. Both are very important. Uh, Kelvin Living Large is saying this is not the time for this man. Kelvin, you have rejected knowledge. Hosea chapter Ah, I don't forget the chapter of Hosea. My people perish for lack of knowledge. I never forget Bible verses. Nothing don't pain me rich where I go forget Bible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. And I don't forget this Bible. So two things you need to check, your pulse and your pulse rate. Secondly, shine a flashlight into the pupil of your child. Someone said this thing is so easy. If they checked it, they will not take him to mortuary. Flash your light. If you have a child beside you, the light of your phone, just flash it into their eyes. Their pupils are supposed to quickly constrict so that less air, sorry, less light comes in. If the pupils are dilated under light, 
is a sign that the person has gone. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Thank you so much, uh, Samaria. I know they ever forget Bible. Two things. Now, let me tell you why this could have saved Junior Pope. The time where they use carry and first go mortuary. If to say they carry and go hospital, you would have gained like 10 minutes. These two things, these three things that I taught you today, your eyes, if you look at the pupil of your eyes, more light to enter. If the pupil constricts under light, it means the person is alive. If the pupil does not constrict, it means the person has spied. Sometimes you will not feel a pulse, but the pupils will constrict. So while they're saying, ah, let's carry into the mortuary, somebody does every phone, this, the worst palasa, I get one palasa here. The worst palasa in this life, get camera, a the battery. What they call a flash? I get one palasa here. Look, I find the palasa. Every palasa get flash. Shine your, they, you can, they, if people had camera to record, say person don't buy, they had camera to record, to, they had flash to look into his eyes. Someone said sometimes it means the person is using uh, medication or substance. We know that he's coming from the water. This is, this is not a substance case. This is clearly a drowning case. So I say, how about the hospital without oxygen? Oh, I'm coming to the hospital. But you see, how could oxygen save somebody that you have first carried to mortuary? How do you expect oxygen to save person when you don't first go waste time for mortuary? First step, CPR. They sat him up and were fanning him. Second step, her in don't buy checking pulse checking dilation of impupils the carry and go mortuary I'm, I'm giving you the problems of nigeria when i say nigeria happens to people the third stage they can't carry and go hospital they say oxygen no day That is why many of your miracles in your churches, where they say somebody was raised from the choir. Did the person buy in the first place? That's why I don't never take all those nonsense miracles seriously. It could happen to any one of us. It could happen to any one of us. So all of you shouting, eh, they should not take him to the shrine. They should take him to the shrine. Let them take him to the shrine. Let them just take him to the shrine. Maybe the shrine can even resurrect him we don't even know let me take if they say make they take him to the shrine before 2 a.m they have 24 minutes to two please make they carry and go to the shrine at least there's nothing to lose now there's nothing to lose There's nothing to lose. Someone said, Daddy Freeze, do, CP, do, do fishermen know what is CPR? All those fishermen know how to pray. They all know Jesus. That's the sad part. They, they don't have education, but they know Jesus. I think we need to start teaching more CPR than Jesus. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Why do they call CPR first aid? Why?
Someone said they even took him to the shrine first before taking him to the hospital. I'm lost for words, and I'm hardly ever lost for words. Let's not blame the victim. They say he cannot swim and he not wear jacket. Okay, but let's not blame him now. What about the people that organized? I don't even want to blame the people that organized it because you see, they say eighty percent to ninety percent of lives are lost after a plane has touched the ground. Say the plane they born for air, the people stay there alive. Now when it hits the ground, after the plane has stopped, because they could not evacuate them quickly. Now waiting the buy people be that. <sighs> I've never been this tired before. The value of a Nigerian life is next to nothing. It's next to nothing. It's next to nothing. It's next to nothing. Is next to nothing. Jesus. Susan Peters. My brother, I greet you. I tell you, I wait for this matter. I'm My just, condolence. I, he's one of his one is somebody in your industry. I am I am really lost for words, to be honest. I just my color I don't look like Ruffian. I don't <laughs> my brain no just gather. I just I'm just in a bad I'm place. really lost for words because I actually made a video when I saw him, when I saw them putting him uh, to sit on the floor and they were fanning this guy. And I made a video telling them that they're not supposed to put somebody away, come off for water, sit down. You're supposed to put a make it lie down, either by inside begin to hit him or put him make it do the CPR, then you take him straight to the hospital. Why? I don't know where our people, we not feel, I don't know, I think, I think the, ah, Lord have mercy, I don't just know what to say, to be honest. I don't just know what to say, because this ignorance, I don't know where, we, we, they say we are suffering and we are smiling, and we have refused to learn. Because the, the, the least person abroad knows how to do CPR, even small begins self. Uh, official Bongoli, how are you doing, my brother? Daddy Freeze, uh, good evening. Good, good evening. evening, everyone. You can, can you see me, Daddy Freeze? I'm coming. Let me turn on the lights because I'm currently on vacation, my annual vacation. Oh, okay. Can you see me? I'm in Canada right now. Oh, okay. You just, crossed, like, you just crossed that mm -hmm. uh, waterfall side. Yeah, um, my annual Canadian vacation that I do. So, oh. uh, I'm not supposed to join this live, but since you added me, I had to join the live because um, I have a lot to say on this matter. And I'm not going to look at it from the uh, standpoint of where people are going to look at it from. I'm looking at it from the government of Delta State. Hmm. I am calling the government of Delta State out. Because what happened today in Lagos, for example, would not happen or may not have happened in Lagos State. Because um, we have very strong regulations in Lagos State when it comes to when it comes to the marine uh, transportation system. Now, firstly, um, we're talking about life jackets and all of that stuff. The transportation, marine transportation is, uh, what's it called, is uh, a private business. 
So in a private business, you're expected to have life jackets. So where is the local government in Asaba? Where is the local government in Asaba? What are they doing about the regulations? Are they just there collecting taxes? Now let me know what taxes, levies. That is what local governments collect according to our constitution schedule four. So who is managing the marine system or the marine transportation in Delta State? Can anyone hear? Because they are they are properly um, managed and monitored. They would ensure that every form of water transportation, the people in there must have safety jackets. Hmm. Secondly, let us talk about the emergency management systems in Delta State. When he got rescued, what is or what was or what were the plan? What number could they have called? Asaba State, for the most part, is the capital of Delta State. And, and I'm calling Delta State out, and I don't want to make this very partisan, but Delta State receives one of the highest federal allocations in Nigeria today. They receive 13% derivation, and I saw a Saba, and I was disappointed. Are you telling me that we do not have systems in place for such incidents? Because that place that they Trans that they were traveling and or transporting and moving around. It's a popular place that they use for transportation for their movie locations and other forms of transportation. And that is actually on River Niger, according to the um, individual that passed on, may God bless his soul, I don't know, you know. But that, those, those, for me, that is where I'm going to look at this from. I'm not looking at this from an emotional angle. I'm not going to sit here at the freeze and talk about, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, he, ha he has kids, three handsome boys, three handsome boys. I'm not going to talk about the cluelessness of many of my fellow Nigerians. I'm going to say that there, yeah, respectfully. Because this same thing that happened also happened in Lagos, also, Dosumo. Now, it is not a water incident. Remember the fire incident that happened two days ago when people were staying around that area and it collapsed? And the, what's it called? The presenter ran away. People were laughing. People were laughing. But that is it. that is how we are not um, very, very attentive to life-threatening situations, to safety situations. And many people are carrying their cam their phones and creating content. You see yesterday that it freeze on your program, I said that we are... Already in our society, the youths that are coming up in our society today, I am scared for our future. Because I agree, there is no sense of direction. There is no sense of direction. Everybody yeah. brought out their phones to just create content. And you know, I have issues with social media. You know, I always say it on your program. I have issues with social media in Nigeria. I believe it should be regulated and the monetization thing. There needs to be some form of control because everybody's looking at this monetization, monetization, monetization. We are not looking at manufacturing. We are looking at entertainment productivity instead of manufacturing productivity. If we all know that in Nigeria we just want to be doing entertainment productivity, let us just say we don't want to do anything uh, manufacturing product and focus on that and turn Nigeria to the next Hollywood tomorrow. But let's just turn Nigeria to the next Hollywood. Because this that happened here, people need to call out the Delta State government. Nobody's calling them out. They need to be called out because what happened to that young man could happen to anybody. It could happen to me tomorrow. It could happen to you, Daddy Freeze. It could happen to um, Ray Susan Peters and the other lady that I joined here today. I will, I will just leave with this. According to Pastor Martin Mola, he said, when, you come for the, when they came for the socialist, I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. When they came for the trade unionist, I did not speak out because I was not in the trade union. When they came for the Jews, I did not speak because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one else to speak for me. The Delta state government should be held responsible for what happened. Now, the people also, yes, they were crowding somebody. We, 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 Daddy Freeze, you talked about the CPR thing and all of that stuff. Yes, I agree. I agree with you 100%. I'm, I'm thankful to you for bringing somebody on your program that had a dummy and was showing us how to do CPR. That God bless you, Daddy Freeze, for that and for the lady that came on your program to share such vital information. God bless you and God bless that person. However, let us call it speed is speed. Nigerians, when there is an emergency situation, 
Get the earth out of that place, the freak out of that place. Let the people that are supposed to take care of this incident take care of it. And the Delta State government needs to be called out at the freeze. I would not stop. I will keep on saying, call the Delta State government out, call the Asapa local government, call them out. They are so lazy. You know, I'm not trying to just paint Delta State a certain picture, but I'm sick and tired of what's going on in Delta State. Uh, I'm um, sick and tired of Let's be careful not to make this too political. You have spoken. Oh, I'm, not making it, phrase, I'm not making it political. That is phrase. I'm not making it political. I started with Lagos State, for example, because we have to compare. Look at the Lagos State as La Scopa Abbey. They have all these um, marine agencies in place. It is not perfect, but that is what I can compare the Delta State government and um, whatever marine that they have. In, do they even have it in place? I went to the Delta State um, um, Instagram handle, and there was nothing of such or nothing of that nature of this incident happening. It happened in your state, and there's no official statement saying, okay, something happened. We don't know the truth, whatever it is, but we are looking into it. Our agencies that is in charge of this and that are, involved, are looking through the situation. That if it's, this is where responsibility has to come into place. Like I said, I am looking at it from a different angle. I am not looking at it from the angle that many Nigerians will look at it. We are trying to solve a problem. So I'm looking at it from an administrative and an engineering angle in solving this problem. Now, that lady, the producer, the location manager, the production manager, all of them, they are in trouble. They need to be sued. That one. So people can talk about that one. People can talk about that one. Hello, Darifris, can you see me? I can see you and I can hear you clearly. Continue. I'm just down, okay. so my, I'm just, my head is bowed because I'm just, I'm just exhausted. Because, Daddy Freeze, because at the end of the day, it can happen to anybody in Nigeria. It can happen to anybody. Nobody, even people that travel from abroad and come home. So long you come home, it can happen to you. Nobody is safe. That's what I said today. I, you heard me say it, Bongoli. Nobody is safe. Forget about that you're living abroad. You don't jump by. You, you, you go jump by. You not come back home. Okay. I tire for the matter, but I tire for the matter. Um, Bongoli, you said you said a lot. Like you said, you said uh, you're, you're sure that Lagos State is not so perfect. No, no one is perfect. To be honest, because Lagos too has has its own issues. But anyway, that's the side part. My problem now is the individual. May his soul rest in peace. Me as an actor, uh, sometimes they say I'm difficult, and yes, I agree. I want to be difficult because I like my safety. I remember some years ago, I was doing a movie and they were supposed to set the character on fire, like real fire. They wanted to put something on me and then they'll put me ablaze and then after a while, they'll, they, you know, they will extinguish me with fire extinguisher. And I told the producer, I'm not doing. This one is not Hollywood. I'm not going to do it. Because if, if uh, Kassala boss now, there may be the thing, I now get burnt. There's no insurance for that. So I told them straight up, I'm not doing if I'm going on a on a on a location, uh, in fact, this only happens with low budget movies. Because to be honest, I just finished Finding Messiah, which is a a, a a blockbuster movie that is coming out in summer. We had standby ambulance, we had doctors on set, we had nurses, we had security, we had everything in place. Safety first for any big production. That's the truth. In Nollywood now, I'm not talking of Nollywood those days, Nollywood has evolved for any big production and any big actor that knows their worth. They put their feet down. I will not climb boats when I know those I know I know get life vest. I will not do it. If not like that, keep your movie to yourself. Oh. Because life is more important. Anyway, that one is even a side part. My problem now is these people around the River Rhine area. How is it? I mean, maybe the, the the government should be involved, like you said. They need to, you know, educate these people on how to give certain uh, um, uh, first aid to things like this. First aid first. Instead, they carry them, they go mortuary. From mortuary, they go shrine. From sh oh my God! I was just seeing this thing. I was just go I was losing my mind. Seriously. My sister, let me let me throw an irony here. Irony here, please, people, bear with me. Uh, Eid Mubarak and everything. 
they were taking him to the mortuary and were saying, uh, praise be to God, glory be to God, God he has resuscitated him. Daddy Freeze, you see the irony? Daddy Freeze. I can see, I can see, I'm just nodding my head. Because me, I can't see you, Daddy Freeze, I can't see my dear sister, but I'm saying that people, you know the way we talk about religion and everything, we but you took him to a shrine. We can see you, we can hear you and we can see you. Yeah. Yes, you are taking him to the shrine and you are saying God something, something, Jesus something, something. You see the irony of Nigerians. Now, let me go another angle. When you wanted to, when they're shooting movies in Delta State, how do they get their permit? Because I don't think you can just shoot any movie anyway. Hmm. Okay, that is also is, long -led. Yes, The thing is, normally, we as the umbrella, we're supposed to have a national guild. But as it is, Nigerians, we just we tend to just do things anyhow. I think they are Sabatu, they have their guild. I mean, mm -hmm. we have a national guild. And then each state has their, you know, subordinate, like the, the guild under the national guild. So normally, you're supposed to go to the guild, you get the permit, and uh, another thing is they're supposed to, you know, go to a, a I don't know what, what the office is called now, to get a permit to even go on that boat to say they are going across to go and shoot. Then they are supposed to have things available like lifeguard, like, uh, you know, uh, um, face eight people on, 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 the, on, the, on, the, on the trip. So I'm surprised with the magnitude of people on that boat because I saw videos, that means they have two boats. I saw videos of, that means one boat is full, the other boat is full, so they have two boats. Because of course, they have cast and crew, which consists of a lot of people. So you have that kind of magnitude of people carrying across. You don't have, you don't have, you don't, have, you don't have one single person for first aid. You don't have a, a lifeguard. You don't have nothing. Not one single person was wearing life jacket. Not one single person. Uh, my sister, I also heard, not heard, like you know, just reading through social media, they said that yes, there the was reckless, there was reckless. There was, I don't think Nimasa is, I don't think, I'm not talking about Nimasa here. Nimasa is, um, what's it called? That's for like big, big, like, um, what do you call them? Like ships, like moving oil and all of our, what's it called? Uh, containers and all of that. Now I'm talking of, I've forgotten the name of the agency in Lagos State. I think, is it last, is it last, I forgot last one or something like that. I, I'm trying to remember. Hey, let me I'm, say, yeah. I'm trying to remember. What are their rules? Because let me tell you something here. I see things from an administrative and engineering standpoint. Because now, who would we hold accountable now in this kind of situation? Well, where were the lapses? You know why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because of tomorrow. Where were the lapses? They said those guys driving, they were hitting, they were just driving recklessly on the on the in the waterways. We saw the man actually do a video telling the guy to calm down. Are these guys even trained to operate and or man those uh, boats, speed boat, uh, not speed boat, those boats, those canoes? Hmm. When I'm trying to when I'm trying to solve problem, we I look at it. I use a method called the five Y method. Why 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 why? I take emotions out of it. I face they are like irrational in my thinking. If we are to solve this problem, because now, now is not the time to trade blame. Now is to who is accountable? The person we have court systems for that. Now what do we need to put in place? And that is why I'm going hard and harm on the Delta State Government. Because it is on Delta State Government and it is on the Asaba local government. Because they know how to collect, uh, what do they call it, uh, levies. They know how to collect levies. And I'm not even just saying that all of all, all of the 774 local governments in Nigeria, we know how to collect levies. But do the job. But before you do the job, it has to be in place. That's the angle that I look at it from. That's where I look at it from. Well, good well evening. That they were doing. Good evening, good brother. Evening. Sorry, because we have a lot of people waiting on queue. Let me just quickly hear from this brother, and then there's uh, Cynthia still coming up. So, Bongoli, yeah. 
Um, just wait for one minute. Let's hear from him just in case you have something to say. If you have nothing to say, then you can leave and I'll bring Cynthia. But I want us to hear the, the brother. Brother, go ahead. Yeah, good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Mongolia and um, Susan, Susan Peter. Peter. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I actually, I just wanted to like, when I saw the news, honestly, I felt really bad. And um, I, I'm really in... in, in in agreement to what uh, Mr. Bongoli and um, Susan is saying, because um, right here in abroad, right, for instance, if such things should happen, I think the first thing people will do is they call the emergency call lines immediately. Like no one goes there and starts picking someone who they don't know, like his like his medical state, his medical condition at that point in time. They just guide the person and then start finding the person the, as in give the person so many like like um, like positions. So I feel like. Um, if I'm to blame, like if I'm to blame, I'm not gonna actually blame the people based on their ignorance of not as of not of not knowing the CPR thing. Because even abroad, yeah, how many people even learn CPR in abroad? How many people learn CPR in abroad? What we should do in Nigeria, if I'm to say, is that we should, as we need to have like a system, not even data alone, like every like in every state where like emergency call line, so that if anything happens, like. They call these people, ambulances should be there at that point in time. Even with this, as in, all this is happening, I couldn't even see the police around. I didn't see the police, even when even, even when they were in the hospital, I didn't see the police, or even any law, any law enforcement agency, how they don't guide this guy, went to the, as in, as in to the ritual, or whatever they call themselves. Police <laughs> was not even there to even douse the tension, as in, as, in, as, in, as in to bring tranquility. Everyone was just like doing what they had in their mind. So I felt like, if like in the country we should have like a standardized um, emergency call line, both for like paramedics, the police, the police or law enforcement agency, institutions like this, because with that at least we 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 be able to know, like for example, this kind of thing, if if you want to happen abroad now, as the paramedics are already there, like we're the guy using as in, as in, as in through CPR or even the policeman, like you know, that's the situation because. Everything now in Nigeria is social media. Everybody wants to just, you know, chase cloud or just like, hey, be the one like, you know, giving information in their, in, as in, as in, as from their own side. So if I'm to blame, I'm also going to blame the government. I actually feel like the government is actually the bedrock of this problem that they're actually going to because if they were, if they were, if they were standard um, SOPs set aside or policies set aside, even, if, even the crew, even the, even, even the producers will not be able to even do this as in take this, as in take such kind of risk at, at, at first. Those are, my, those, are my, those are my thoughts, actually, because I'm actually, I'm actually feeling so bad about the whole situation currently. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very um, much. I'm going to bring uh, Eva, Eva Lodia is here, and Cynthia. Thank you, my brother. Um, help me thank press you. the X so you can leave, so I can bring Cynthia. She's been on the okay. queue. And also Eva. Eva, my favorite rapper. Yes. So now, let me um, say this here. Okay. Guys, I see the comment section and people are trying to spin, do political spinning to this. This has nothing to do with politics. This has to do with our lives. Like I said, you can only make changes with laws. You can only make changes with laws. And I'm trying to see how we can make sure that this doesn't happen to somebody tomorrow. And that is why I am calling out the people that are responsible to make these laws and put it in place. I hope you people understand me. So here's what I'm going to say about this very unfortunate incident. Yeah, Cynthia, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? I'm not good. You can't, this is a Black Wednesday. Let's just call it a Black Wednesday. Because what happened today could have been avoided, especially because this guy had cried out the previous day. He made a video. He expressed his fear. He talked about being the only child. He talked about having three boys that he had, well, three kids he had to raise. All the signs were there. I'm not, I'm not coming on this live to come and talk about who should be, who, who, to be, I'm, I'm not, I'm not interested in who should be blamed, but rather my focus is <laughs> what can we do going forward? Mm. So I'm going to take you back to the beginning of your video, freeze. The education part of this life, telling people to check their polls, talking about CPR, 
see, when something happens, something, <laughs> when an emergency happens, people start screaming, there is chaos, there's pandemonium. We need to stop doing that because we make it worse. Somebody, somebody was involved in a, a boat accident. He, he gets brought out of water. Please explain to me why, just like Susan said, they keep him in a sitting position. He should be laying down and turned to his side. Okay, a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know about chest compression, CPR. I get it. Please, can we begin to educate people? Let's just forget Delta state governments. They don't care. You talked about their allocation. They, this money is for them, their families, their girlfriends. They do not care. What is the value of life in Nigeria today? It's not worth anything. So the thing the government will not do for us, my brother, let's start doing it for ourselves. Hmm. My best friend, Bob Mugoma, the comedian, he lost his mother many years ago. His mom happened to be my mom's best friend because they were colleagues. This woman slumped and people gathered around her and they were just, hey, 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 like, there, there have been scenarios where we've lost people that could have been saved. The hospitals, they do not care. Because when you bring in someone, the first thing they want, the, the first thing they're concerned about is make this person no go die here. That's their focus. That's why rather than check the person, even when you make it to the hospital, the hospital won't even say, oh, let me even see if there's a pulse. Let me see if they're breathing. They're just letting carry and go general hospital with the most nonchalant, detached way. They tell someone, panicking someone in an emergency, carry and go general hospital. Carry and go private hospital. They don't care. If it, they, nobody cares. If these hospitals... If you cannot trust the nearest hospital to you, it should be shut down. So that we don't just say a hospital for hospital's sake. We know that this place is a, is a representation of help because they turn you away. It's what they do. So let's begin to educate each other. If we can hear about someone's marriage crashing on Tunde Ednot's blog, and within minutes, everybody's aware and everyone wants to know and everyone wants to be invested, let's apply the same energy in learning how to do chest compressions when there's an emergency. Let's apply the same, let's be that invested in checking pulses. You talked about dilation of the pupil. These people do not care. They are sharing the money. It's not, don't believe what you say tonight is going to change Nigeria. I have lost faith in that country. I have, I have lost complete. I okay. used to be someone um, so, you know, like, when I, those days when I did vlog, that's why I go, they do passionate. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. 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 No. Now, let me let me say something. Guys, whatever you're going to say, we have two more minutes. Instagram. Hold on, hold on. I need you guys to all hear me. So I don't know how you guys are going to share the remaining two minutes or one minute, 30 seconds. But just know that Instagram would end the live in one minute, 30 seconds. So I hand everything over to you guys. I'm just going to say everyone watching, please, let's, let's, let's be deliberate in our safety, be deliberate <sighs> and intentional about safety. That's all. Intentional. When something bad happens, please, guys, it's not the time to shout, hey, it's not the time to whip up your phone. Chest compressions. Oh, Father. It's not the time to speak what in tongues. To Cynthia, address the speaking in tongues. Cynthia, you have not addressed That's speaking in tongues. Which, which, oh. which speaking in tongues? Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's what the Bible says. If that's in Kevin speaking in tongues, eh, I will swear for you this night the way they do me for party. Hey, my sister, my sister, I've already addressed that part because I said it took uh, the man to a, uh, to a, what's he called, to a shrine and they were saying in Jesus' name. Guys. Guys, I'm so sorry. I have very little energy. 
please forgive me this is one of the most painful like cynthia said this is a black wednesday i feel like removing my, i get headache i get very bad headache this thing don't mess with me gone i'm so sorry guys normally we would have continued I, I don't have the mental capacity to continue please forgive me maybe we'll talk during the day please forgive me everyone TikTok, youtube i don't have the energy to continue this young man had no business this young man had no business departing this world ah uh, i'm exhausted I'm, I'm so sorry guys we'll talk tomorrow you know me you know i'm a troublesome person i'm hardly ever broken this one has broken me good night everyone